One of my interests since I was in high school, which given the gray you can tell was a few years ago, um, has been the genetics of the flower patterns in irises and how we get so much variation. So there are really two different pigments. There's keratin, um, a keratinoid pigment that is yellow or pink. Uh, these, the pink is basically very pale, but it's same pigment as in tomatoes, but simply pale. The yellow is the same pigment that's in carrots, but again, a bit different. And the blue is a completely different set of pigments called anthocyanins. White is basically absence of all of those pigments, and one can get different combinations. If you have a plant with both the blue and the yellow pigments, it looks more brown. But depending upon the ratio of the pigments, you can get a variety of different colors. Here is a plant where the standards, the upper petals, are very pale and the lower petals are more darkly pigmented. That's an inherited trait that affects anthocyanin, the blue pigment family. It doesn't really exist for the keratins, the yellow and pink family. So one can get brown standards and darker, more purple falls by the combinations of the different ones. In this group, there is a very fancy pigmentation pattern of light, no pigment in the center, a lot of dots, and then a band around the edge. Okay. And here, you see a different version. It's a little lighter, but not so much. And it's not dots so much as lines, variation, but still a darker border around the edge. And exactly how those are inherited is not yet clear, but I'm doing some of the work on trying to figure it out. It's a hobby. Uh, it's not super science, though very complex science, um, but it helps in trying to understand how one can plan crosses to improve the garden qualities. And you'll notice that some of these there are multiple branches, almost candelabra style. So there are more flowers per plant. And that's close to the ideal. That one is very tall. There are others that are much shorter. And that's one of the fascinations I find with all of these. Tremendous variety one can get a rainbow of colors, and in fact, it's often considered that the iris is a rainbow flower. <laughs>